welcome to the church of the Archangel Michael here at Mullion. We were given permission yesterday, so my parish priest told me, that we were allowed to visit our daughter churches. And so I thought I'd take this opportunity and bring this afternoon's service here from Mullion. Everyone is very welcome. The altar doesn't usually look like this, but this is how it is set up for our special worship, this special service for Divine Mercy on the Sunday afternoon of Divine Mercy. Just had to do a little bit of reading. I suddenly found that the phone I was going to play the hymns on certainly wasn't loud enough and I forgot to bring the speaker and so a little bit of change. I hope these arrangements work. Our opening hymn, All Ye Who Seek a Comfort Sure. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We begin our devotions by blessing the image on this special day. Almighty and Eternal Father, in your goodness, bless and sanctify this image of the Divine Mercy, your dearly beloved Son, which has been fashioned to reveal to us the great love of our crucified and risen Saviour, the Divine Mercy personified. Help us recall to our minds the streams of blood and water that had gushed forth from his pierced heart to be for us a continuous fount of mercy. Grant to all who invoke your mercy with this image before their eyes the grace of true repentance pardon and peace. Shield them from every danger to soul and body in this life. Jesus, our loving Saviour, establish in this image the throne of your mercy. Pour out upon all of us who approach it with faith and trust the purifying, healing and sanctifying rays of grace ever emanating from it as a blazing star. Gaze upon us as you did from the cross with your great love and mercy, so that we may be filled with your grace. Through this image, 
may your divine mercy triumph over all the powers of evil. May all who venerate this image never perish. May it be their joy in life, their hope in death, and their glory in eternity, for ever and ever. Amen. Ask this through Christ our Lord. Jesus, I trust in you. We listen to a reading from the first letter of St. John. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ has been begotten by God. And whoever loves the father that begot him, loves the child who he gets. We can be sure that we love God's children if we love God himself and do what he has commanded us. This is what loving God is, keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not difficult, because anyone who has been begotten by God has already overcome the world. This is the victory over the world, our faith. Who can overcome the world? Only the man who believes that Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus Christ who came by water and blood, not with water only, but with water and blood, with the Spirit as another witness, since the Spirit is the truth. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Apostle Thomas was absent on the first occasion that our Lord appeared to his disciples, and he was reluctant to accept the word of the others. He wanted to see the risen Lord for himself, wanted to feel the marks of his wounds. One week later, he got his wish. His reaction was a glorious cry of faith, my Lord and my God, which in turn earned the wonderful response from Jesus, happy, Truly blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. And of course, we have not seen. And that means that we are truly blessed. At least, we are if we truly believe. But do we believe? Do we believe that Jesus' divine heart is ablaze with love and mercy for us at this very moment? There is no weakness of ours that he doesn't understand. No sin of ours that he won't forgive. No time of day or night when he's not totally interested in us. We remember those words of our Lord. Happy, blessed, the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Do we try and mirror his compassion in our dealings with others? Do we believe that Jesus is truly present in the Eucharist as food for our souls? So, in the same way, he is present in the sacrament of reconciliation for the forgiveness of our sins, as the physician who can cure every ill. And do we act on that belief by making regular use of the sacrament of confession? Or has that sacrament of God's compassion been a bit airbrushed out of our Catholic lives? In the year 2000, Blessed John Paul II announced that this Sunday, the first after Easter, would be celebrated as Divine Mercy Sunday. The Divine Mercy, he explained, is the Easter gift that the Church receives from the risen Christ and offers to humanity. To accept that gift, to open our hearts to the Lord's boundless mercy, is already to experience something of the unbelievable joy and peace that the Apostles experienced on that first Easter Sunday. So as we 
prepare ourselves for benediction and for exposition as we say the Divine Mercy Chaplet. So we listen to the hymn, Lay Your Hands Gently Upon Us. I knew it would be difficult doing all this on my own. Saving victim of being wide, the king hand to man below, our foes press on from every side, thine aid supply, thy strength bestowed. All praise and thanks to thee ascend. Forevermore, blessed one in three, 
before the sacrament we say the Divine Mercy chaplet we shall use the version as it's sung frequently in on uh, the EWTN channel
and those of the whole world for the sake of historical passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of historical passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood and soul and divinity on your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of 
His sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal oh, Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and the blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus.
truth of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passions. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passions. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty, we know one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Therefore we before him bending this great sacrament revere. Types and shadows have their ending, for the newer right is here. Faith our outward sense befriending, 
makes our inward vision clear. Glory, let us give and a blessing to the Father and the Son. Honor, thanks, and praise addressing while eternal ages run ever to his love confessing who in both with both is one amen thou gave us some bread from heaven alleluia containing in itself all sweetness Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who in a wonderful sacrament has left unto us the memorial of thy passion, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever perceive within ourselves the fruits of thy redemption, who livest and reignest, world without end. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her spouse most chaste. Blessed be God, in his angels and in his saints.